Alright, I brought the Strofa to do a level cap. Uh, what even to say about this weapon? I was surprised with how easy it is to build combo. Uh, there is an innate punch through pretty much on the, on the shot, so it makes it pretty easy to build a combo. Weapon lacks on the status chance side. Has a good crit chance to come out wrong with damage. And yeah. It is pretty. Gun blades are pretty much all of them are. There's no bad gun blade, there's just some are some are better than others. Just trying to, to kill this demo without the without using Yeah, there we go. Without using expedite suffering done a bunch of the rounds with Expedite Suffering. This one I'm gonna do without Expedite Suffering. Let's talk more about the Epitaph. <laughs> the Epitaph! Ooh, what? <laughs> about the Strofa. I just read it. Epitaph down the, the corner real quick. So, my build is wrong. I... When I was on round 45, I just realized I forgot to bring Empowered Blades. And so that means I'm missing quite a lot of damage on my heavy heavy attack, which sucks, but it's still doable. There's a, as you play these, not even level caps, the more time you spend with a, a weapon and making builds in the war from you, see that it is easy to make a lot of, oh, I lost the combo, to <laughs> make v usable stuff. Not viable, not ideal, but usable stuff. And level cap is no exception. You don't need like the most exceptional build to make this. It's really just something usable. Oh god, I'm not sure if this is gonna. I have a bad time here. If you don't want to use like the expedite suffering, you can use this. Like keep doing this. Oh my god. Whenever I get a ten of speed boost, I just start missing every shot like this okay <laughs> what the that was interesting I'm dead but you know another thing that's funny that I, w I was thinking about mentioning but uh, I want to get it done first I'm gonna actually revive myself Oh my god. Okay. Uh, yeah. I was about to say you don't even need the arcanes to res yourself, but I was just missing some energy there. Uh, um, I made another amp and <laughs> I forgot to, to guild it and bring the arcane, so it's an amp without the, without the arcanes. It's pretty, still working. Not as good. As it did good, but still pretty decent. And okay, two more. Oh no, yeah, two more demos. So really, forgetting about unpowered blades uh, is probably holding the weapon back quite a lot. And I do want to touch the weapon as soon as I get out of here, because I think improvements can be made. Such a random time to get, come get this, right? Oh, Jesus. Oh, really? Ah, uh, this is not good. Come on, time to shine. Ah, oh, but I lost. I lost the combo again. Yeah. Once you get used to using a... Uh, Relentless co combinations. Some things just feel weird. Okay. About to get killed. <laughs> Don't want to get killed. More. 
thing is, with this build that I'm using right now, there is a 33% chance, let's say, it's a 1 in 3 that you're getting no... no... Toxin procs, because you have two shots on the heavy attack, right? So, 33.33333% chance of you getting one toxin proc. 33% of you getting uh, two procs, and 33% of chance of getting none. Either you get one, two, or none. So, if I'm at this right, <laughs> if I'm like, yeah. You get it. But it's Warframe. Warframe RNG, right? So it's not the ideal. After I use the heavy attack, I just prefer to use this to make it more a uh, guarantee. Make it sure more likely to get killed. When you do get like both procs, or even when you just get a proc, it's just so much better. Like, with Expedite Suffering, I was able to pull out, I think, 29 million damage after getting the proc. So, 29 million damage on the health. I don't think anything is gonna survive that. So, I would say it's pretty good. When you ne whenever you get a Tenno speed boost, or. Yeah. Attack speed, you don't even remember the buff. It just messes up with this. Uh, doing this whole thing of shooting, pressing, uh, like pressing E for E, E for E. It just messes it up. Let's do another round. Just to. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit better than the last one. It's gonna be one ugly video. I'm sorry. Yeah. Did I lost it already? Ow. Oh, I have no ammo. What? Yeah. Things to talk about the Lua also. Lua. Oh my god. Get the combo. Ah, really? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just dead. Yep. No way. Big F. When there are nullifiers involved, it's crazy how fast things can go south. It's just stupid. Oh, enemy toxic. Uh, I didn't saw that. Okay. That's the problem right here. I didn't saw the enemy talking about this. Uh, am I actually... Yeah. If this, this doesn't work out, I'm gonna have to... Probably gonna have to extract. Long live the bug. If it wasn't for the bug, I would be... Here. Bam. Bam. Oop, no proc. That one in three chance of getting nothing. Yeah. At least it's done. <laughs> Damn. I think tox enemy toxin weapon is one of the worst. One of the worst you can, you can have it. Yeah. Back, I'm talking about the Lua. Ah, level caps in Lua are much more annoying to do. And it's really because of the tile set. The conduit key, not the conduit key, the conduit rooms are so bad. I think there's only like, there's only a few of them, like only maybe what, four? And out of those four, only two are really decent. One is good, one is decent, and I think the others are really terrible. These, the two I got on this one are the good and the decent, I would say. No proc? Proc. Yeah, 10 million.
this one I would say is the decent one. And I would say this one is the good one. If you think about it, oh, it's bad. It has four doors. Yeah, but usually, I don't know. Seems like they, they just run faster towards that one. Oh, see, fire rate boost. No proc, no proc. It's okay. Yeah, I really wanna wanna touch the build. It's, dude, how could I forget unpowered blades? Like, come on. See, now I was able to hit <laughs> oh, much more shots than before. It's really, when you get the a fire rate boost, it just messes up with your kind of muscle memory on this thing. Yeah. Another thing. The Hyena Demolisher. That thing is so fast. Like, what? Here it comes. No proc, no proc. Uh. I really gotta take a look on this build again. Uh. Get close to it again. Now it's dead. Yeah. Not as easy. Really not as easy, but pretty okay. I would say that. Like with a weapon like this, not even a, a weapon like this, anything that can get a big toxin proc or a ton of toxin procs. And if you have as expedite suffering and armor strip, everything will be able to kill the corpus. I think this might have been the time that I got the most Lua lens out of them all. Pretty good, pretty good. It's not bad having Lua lens. They're, I think they're the best lens you can have. Yeah, pretty decent. And now we have a reason to farm some focus, right? You can represent and get a, a bunch of duplicates of the things you already you already got. All right, let's talk about the build. Revenant. You guys have seen this is a little bit different. To traded Vigoro Swap that I usually have it for Gladiator Resolve. So I would get 195% crit chance if I'm not wrong with the Strofa. Energy Siphon, God, please don't use this. <laughs> yeah, should have been this one. Feels bad. Oh my God, it would have been so much better. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. Damn. Status, 60% uh, status chance is not gonna be that much. I think the Strofa has like 40% base, 14% base. Nataruk, I think I used this like, I didn't fire 20 shots with it. Epitaph build, you guys have seen it a bunch of times. And the Strofa build. This is it. Yeah, I think this thing has 14% base. Um, this is the Riven. It's nothing too crazy. I mean, it's pretty decent, but when you look at the status chance, yeah, we're getting about, let me see on the impact. Yeah, the toxin is just so much better than the, oh, projectile. Uh-huh. Yeah. Kind of hard. <laughs> kind of hard to get those procs. Let me see. It's 14%. 60%. Uh, from the from that would give us what 14 7 maybe it's not even eight eight percent but would turn it into a little bit better uh, if you don't have the ribbon melee prowess maybe straight this take a look it's a little bit better 
I think melee prowess would give you the consistency you need with the with the, the prox, with the toxin prox. Probably. Still great. I think it would be much easier if I were if I was going against Grenier and using Varro. But uh, the, the requests for Corpus level cap are increasing, and so I wanted to to do a Corpus one. Ah, uh, this is a new fashion for the Strofa. I like it. I like it a lot. I gotta say, damn, I like it a lot. Yeah. Other than that, it is the Toxicat with the builds. I think there was also a perfect timing moment on this run. This, this is just probably pretty good. Pretty cool. Yeah. Strofa. Pretty doable, but to be honest, uh, without the empowered blades, oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> Felt so bad. I think the, without the empowered blades, if we were to use the Strofa without empowered blades, it would be even better to just use the the Zaw I used on those videos, like one of the first level cap video I made with, against the uh, the Corpus, the first one ever. I'm trying to remember, I think it was this build. Yeah, I think it was this build. Oh my god, might have been this one. Not entirely sure, but yeah, you you can see it on the the videos are there on YouTube. Really, it's crazy. Yeah. Yep, let me know what you think about the Strofa. Would it take it to a level cap? Be it Grenier, Infested, or... Corpus? <laughs> yeah, just missing the words, damn. Let me know in the comments below. Leave it a like. Consider subscribing.